Yes, uh, good morning. Th- my name is, uh, is Marcus Conti, uh, calling for uh, D. Walker. I saw you guys. Hey, man, how are you? How are you? So, uh, yeah, I saw you comment on uh, on YouTube. And uh, so you were you were an enforcement agent way back when? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I, I think used to work with you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, so... so uh, yeah, so I I guess you saw you saw some of the posts. You, I think you posted on the one with Burke, the the Burke. Uh, you know, I got, we got him dead to right. You know, like uh, so so will it, so just tell just tell me who you are, so I know I I you know I know I know exactly you were you were a um, yeah I'm Walker. I'm the one that uh, I don't know if you was there when. Uh, Kelly was trying to get me for knocking over a fruit stand, allegedly. <laughs> I was only there for one year. I was there for, I uh, hired in December 2014, fired in December 2014. So I don't, Damn. I don't, yeah, okay. so they, 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 they fired me three days before the probation. So I, I don't, I'll be honest, I don't even know who, I've never met Kelly. I've only heard his name. Right. And, um, you know. Well, you yeah, two thousand. Yeah, two. I never met him. He, he. I heard he had threatened me through a chain of command a few times, but I never actually saw him. I did meet Burke, and right. uh, never had a conversation with Burke. Only, only got screamed at through a chain of command. But on the other hand, Peppy was, uh, you know, Peppy was the, was He's the, the worst. yeah, he was an attack yeah, dog. Oh, man. Yeah. I got stories about him. Like number eleven was the most helpful day of my life messing with him. Yeah, yeah, he he's he was bad news that guy. Got you know, those liars. But you can, I mean, my my whole premise. Whether I'm not here to, you know, I'm not certainly not don't want to personally attack people. But but as an agent, you were how how many years were you an agent for? for uh, about four, three or four. Three or four years. So yeah, I, started, I, I did. I was an FBI agent for you. Before you got there. Right. So you were already gone. What? Well, and you can, I mean, you can confirm that there was a quota. That first Kelly had it at eighteen, and then, and then somehow it settled at ten. Right? That was the, that's the whole premise. My yeah, premise when is I got there, when I got there, it was fifteen. Right. And then from fifteen, after I left, I heard it went up to seventeen. No, actually, no. It went up to seventeen when I was there. Right. Because the districts was dirty, you know what I mean? They're like, listen, there's more tickets out there. You need to write more tickets, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah, it definitely went up to 17. Like you said, when, you know, you didn't meet your quota when you had the C-point, mm-hmm. then the supervisor would say, well, park your car or and get in my car and let's, you know, write some tickets, you know? Right, right, right. And my problem with that is some of the supervisors were not writing telling you to write the legit summonses. Like, there was a lady named Lieutenant Benz. I don't know if you ever met her before. What's her name? Benz? No. Benz. B-N-C-E. Yeah, she's a yeah. skinny black lady. And she, this lady was, like, the A-frame phenomenon. Like, all <laughs> she would do, write that A-frame, write this, write yeah, that, write yeah. that A-frame. Right. Write that coffee cup in, in, on the side. Well, like, what? Right, and one, one coffee here. cup. All right. Yeah, they they like that A frame one. You could you could drive a bus uh, uh, through. The, there's enough space for a bus to fit on the sidewalk, but there's an A frame stuck up against someone's building, and they want you to the the, the commercial right. establishments. And they got you. to the point where when I started writing tickets, I would have to write as per you know three, four, five, whatever their call sign was. Right. And that's how to justify I got the out of, right. to justify the like, ticket. Right. To me, that's not something I would write, and I was like one of the second highest ticket writers in the city. Right, right, right. right. Well, as far as enforcement is concerned, anyway, you know. Yeah, and you can, I mean, you can confirm too. I mean, it, the, the the premise is that, like, I, I mean, I brought them to court, and I couldn't even get the recording of uh, Ortega, you know, giving his twenty-two minute manifesto on the quota. Right. right. I couldn't even get the court to listen to it. Right, that's how that's how rigged the system is. Right, that's how rigged it in yeah. favor, the SMY is, and I mean that's that's well established. I mean the quote is well established through the two hundred six book. The supervisors write it down, right? But but also how you know why do in your in your view 
right? Why do why do the agents continue to do it, right? Without without protest. Now, you know, my my assumption is that fear of you know they're going to take your car away, they're going to put you on foot, they're going to take away right. your all your petty privileges, right? And they've done that to me too. <laughs> right. Crazy as that sounds, yeah. Right. Well, it's I look, I'm I, I have no, you know, no more ties to uh DSNY. My case is technically over. Yeah, I appealed, I, I fought them, and not a single agent, you know, came forward. You know, they the managers they, they could have they could have stopped DSNY in their trails. The the union right. is 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 crap. They eleven ninety nine is gone. They 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 uh, dissolved that uh, their affiliation with yeah, that. that was quick. <laughs> and they they took on uh, this other guy, Liba, Mister Liba. No way. He's a one guy in a room. Uh, is the union. Wow. So. Were you there when uh, was Ruth Thomas still the delegate when you left? Uh, I I don't you know a lot. A lot of them had approached me. One of them even approached me to become a delegate. And like, I, I, I don't know. I, I had tried to present this to them many times and I got nothing but, uh, you know, the squinty lemon face and, and scorn. Nobody wanted to, you know, nobody really wanted to move on the, on the, on the quota. You know, it's, you know, as far as the quotas are concerned, you know what I mean? The Asians like really didn't really like myself. Like it wasn't really a big, to write a certain amount of tickets a day. Right. But when you didn't come in with those numbers, it presented a problem. Right. Like, okay, it's raining, it's snowing outside, what the hell do you want me to write? Right. <laughs> you know, on a windy day, they want you to go write uh, at a uh, damn S26. Like, get out of here. There's, there's barely between 18 inches into the street. They're just like, well, for, it's a windy day for what? Right. It's not mad at that. Why am I writing this? Right. And most of the time that's just that's that's the, the broom missing the spot anyway. The the mechanical broom goes by, misses the misses the dirt in the street right. and then they want you to write it to the commercial establishment. It's just it's Yeah, I've been I've been trying to to do that for a long time, but you know, like I said, nobody tried to hear me and it was because I had my own issue, you know, I was being targeted mm-hmm. for allegedly writing fake summonses and I was followed by Undercovers and all that stuff. Trying to find out, there's nothing wrong with my summons. I just wrote a lot of them. Right, right, right. You're doing, rules. you're doing, right. you're doing what they tell you to do, which is go out and write a lot of tickets, and then they follow you around, trying to, put, trying to, trying to uh, uh, catch you yeah. because no one can actually write 16 tickets. Some of them got to be fake. So they're, that's what they're, that's the assumption, right? So they're following right. you around. You do your job, and then they follow you around trying to stick a knife in your back because it's it's technically impossible to find. Well, maybe I don't know. It's hard to find that number of tickets. Did you see? Yeah, depending, do you, on where you, depending on where you're at, yes, it, it is. It's, right. it's hard. Like you have to work all day sometimes to get your numbers, and when you don't, and it's funny because they want you to be assigned to a district, but when a supervisor comes, all of a sudden you got all of a hat and write or something. Right. Yeah, I didn't think that was fair either. Yeah. Well, then they'll. Did you catch my video with the with the woman who jumped out of the car? She wrote the she wrote the S nineteen loose rubbish yeah, for. The car, yeah. yeah. I caught her. I caught her. She saw. I saw her come down the block. Right. I was just walking to the store. Right. I was minding uh-huh. my own business, and I see her come down the block, and she slowed down to look at the pile. Right. Like I was standing by the pile. She saw the. She saw me. Right, she right. she must have recognized me from some one of these videos, right? So she's she 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 sees me and then keeps going, gets out of the car, and that's where the video comes in. She she walked into the building, right? And then the I that's when I finally got the camera out of my pocket, and she she came running out, and I ask her what's it's for, what what is what's the ticket for? And I, I look, that's that's no loose loose rubbish, right? You're an experienced guy. That was right. what was that? That was that was bulk, right? Right, loose rubbish is for the for the for the little stuff like cardboard and shit blowing around. That was that was a sink, a couch. It's like, you know, giant pieces of wood that because if if the if the landlords tie heavy wood, right, the sanitation guys won't take it because it's it's too heavy. So they just stack it neatly. So so there you had it, right? That's in my view, that's the result of ticket quota pressure. That 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 agent. Is driving around. It's one thirty. She's probably got 
you know, five or six, and she needs to get that. <laughs> she needs to get, she needs to get the ten. So she picks a soft target, a, you know, a residential building, and she writes two back to back. Loose rubber. She wrote. I only wow. talked about the one that I caught her writing, but she wrote the building next to it too. Same thing. Loose rubbish with a fictitious, uh, fictitious description. Yeah. So. So what do we do about it? Yeah. I've witnessed agents, you know, like like yourself. Like you know, you walking down the street, do the job. You know what the job is, and you'll see somebody just pull up, write a summons, but they wouldn't even post the summons. Like they would just throw it somewhere. Like right. who's supposed? You know, they would they would literally boil up the summons and throw it in like the yard area or someplace. So okay, yeah, you know it's a bullshit ticket because if it was if it wasn't a bullcrap ticket, they would have taped it up on the wall. Right. The agent's supposed to do it, you know, ring the bell and get super to come out and look at the violation, you know what I mean? But it was like none of that. Right. Yeah, so they're 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 rigging they're they're not posting it properly because if the if the if they had to present those details to someone standing in their face, the person would right. laugh at them. So that's you know, like the example in the video where where she posts a ticket for forty rods. <laughs> So, yeah, where's the forty rods? It's a it's a couch and a sink, right? Because if she would have put in the description sink and couch, big pieces of wood, right? That's not loose rubbish. Therefore, the ticket is 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 void, right? It should have. It could have been. It could have been. Uh, what's the one? S. What's the one? Uh, wrong, out on the wrong day. S. Eighteen. Right. It's out yeah. on. Right, that's what it could have been because no, no failure to store. I'm sorry, yeah, failure to store. Right, so that's what it could have been. Right, only it could have been, but it, that cert so instead of writing that one, she wrote the loose rubbish. That's fake. That's a fake ticket. Right, <laughs> right. That's a fake ticket because yeah, she she just wanted to get that word and it goes. Yeah. They go far with that word. Right, right. You know, and they got they got like you know I, I again I don't want to bash uh, I mean I I disliked Pepe I thought he was he was just uh you know a, he's kind of like a gopher you know and and he was the worst one out of all of them like everybody yeah. complained about him like yeah. he was you know he had ties to everything and everybody right in the community and him doing that next to kind of I love this garbage you know what I mean it's like oh boy here we go yeah yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then there was Greenwood. He uh, when I when I exposed them guys when I went at, uh, you know when I finally expo put the quota on record at the uh, Division of Human Rights and in the courts, Greenwood Greenwood immediately retired. <laughs> he retired. Wow. And then Pepe uh, followed him like like two weeks later, and they took uh, attack dog number one, uh, Pascal. I don't know if you remember her, but she she was the you know the, the uh, she took over attacking uh, for the rest of them. So, but they those two guys both got f pushed out. He was, they didn't get fired. Either, he was the agent when I left. What was just when you were there? He was a, he was lieutenant. Now, a, yeah. So Amosquito is just a is just a gopher. He worked directly yeah. with Pascal, who was elevated to captain. But but again, this is all like. This is all internal details, you know, like, yeah, like you yeah. know, what I mean, this is people jockeying for their job. But the, the, the yeah, right. And, and who cares? You know what I mean? That's 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 common. And, uh, you know, my my biggest problem was that there was this illegal quota. And I'm I'm an outspoken guy. I mean, I I'll, I'll you know, if you're going to push me to do something illegal, I'm going to I'm going to push back, you know. Right. And um right. You know, and that that was my that was my 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 point in the whole thing. You know, and um, so but the ticket rages on, the ticket quota rages on. We you know we did we win? Did we lose? ABC yeah, come. Said something about traffic too. I did. I only did traffic for a year. Ah. They did the same thing to me. Like they was trying to push it back, and I, you know, like I said, I was a strong. This is when I did my first city job. You know, like nineteen years old. Right. You know and. I believe at that time, if you was on foot patrol, you had to write about twenty something. I don't know exactly the numbers. Tw twenty six. You had to write like damn, then double that. Yeah. Wow. 
that's yeah i mean that's that's uh, all right 26 tickets in in i've almost i've pretty much confirmed that that's what the quota is for for new york city traffic it's 26 because i've met a bunch of guys and i've actually approached a few of them and they they were aware of they were aware of you know of my story they were like oh yeah we we heard it we heard about you know uh, sanitation they can't the managers can't say anything anymore to the to the uh workers because yeah, they were, right. what you're saying is everybody cleans up what the hell are you gonna write <laughs> right right like it's possible like it happens right right and then and then it's it becomes your word against the agent you know if the agent writes it down and then the landlord tries to go and and fight it then it, it, it's it's just bad news. I mean, that that uh, the example of that ticket, you know, that I caught I caught that agent writing the ticket. Now well, all the landlord has to do is is reference that video and show it, and it, you know that's the end of it. But 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 only because I caught her doing it, you know, and I'm an experienced eye. I told you what what she was doing. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, the average yeah. landlords, and they, they're they're afraid because if they do that, then what happens? Then sanitation targets them. Not not so much right. enforcement, but they'll, you'll get a call on the radio. Yeah, go go down this block, and it looks like it's a little messy on this block, right? They do that, right? Right. right? You know, yeah. right? Or even for the repeat violators, like they will make a point. Like if they don't like the store, they will put that store in the repeat violator list quick. Hmm. Oh yeah, go right. That's still the ticket. They got all their stuff out on the curb. That's all the stuff. That's not construction. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Then next thing you know, fifteen tickets later, like the month later, you see the one repeat by later list. So now they still attacking them because now they get double the fine. You know, it's crazy. Right, right. I mean, what do we do about it? I mean, there's no th that place. There's no unionization. Nobody, nobody speaks up about it. You know, they, they, t they, they, they're terrified that they're going to lose their the workers. They're going to lose, uh, you know, right. the petty privileges. It's a bad problem, you know. It's a bad problem, and uh, I, I look. I tried my best, you know. I tried my best to expose it. I, I had, I was in every. I was in every. I was in every court. I was in the ear of every congressman and every senator and every councilman, and I got, I got nothing. Only one senator, only one senator, the state senator uh, Marty Golden in Brooklyn came. He, he put something on the record. The rest of them. Nothing, they, you know. I I called, you know that 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 bullshit in in the in the roll call rooms. You'll see a DOE DOI. You know, if you see something, say something, right? Yeah. I I called them. They started investigating me. They the guy was like uh, the guy was like uh, we, we want to have a conversation with you. They were trying to get me to go down there. I was like, you guys are fucking crazy. I'm telling, I'm giving you, I'm giving you information. And you're trying to accuse me, trying to trying to flip the thing on me. I was like, "Whoa, this right. is this is bad. This is bad news." <laughs> yeah, I had to go down to um, EEOC one day too. Uh, that lady that wasn't there, that blonde hair lady that you that was um, that you had a recording of. Yeah. Con uh, Concepcion. Uh, Concepcion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I had to go down there one day because. It was it got that bad where I had to save my job and I had to go down there. They're like, "Yo, leave this guy alone. Like he's not doing anything. He's stressing him the fuck out." <laughs> right, right. No. Yeah, there's a lot of that past the buck stuff, but that again, that's all fear generated by an illegal quota. You know, you've got, you've got these, you've got the 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 mayor screaming down Garcia's neck when you were there. It was uh, I don't I don't forget Doug Daherty, Mister Daherty, the the the. the yeah, John Daherty. Yeah, John Doherty. So they, yeah. so you got the mayor screaming down his neck, right? And then he screams down the chief's neck. And then you've got Klingler and the rest of the chiefs screaming down the captain's neck and Pepe and all these guys. Right. And then it, and then it, and what is it? It's, it's just a stressful situation. Yeah, they use sanitation and traffic as a ticket writing machine. Like that's yeah. all they're used for is to rather, you know, generate revenue for the city. That's their biggest money maker. If there yeah. wasn't any traffic or sanitation out there. The city wouldn't make any money. Right, right. So, yeah, I mean, you know, and I, I have, um, I have new, new information coming in. Like a lot of the green side supervisors also write tickets, but right. you know, prior to this, they didn't. They had a quota. I mean, I, 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 again, I can't confirm it because I'm not 
a supervisor in sanitation. I was a sanitation agent. I, I, I witnessed it. You know, I was there. But these guys are telling me that it used to be they had to write two a day. Each supervisor had to go out and find two a day. And they leaned on the one that you just talked about, the the, the S23, the 18, you know, dirty. Yeah. They love that one. They love that one. They love a mattress when they see an uncovered mattress. <laughs> And uh, there, there's so there's new info now that that the sanitation supervisors are now being pressured. Someone inside that told me that uh, this is kind of breaking news too. They they told me that 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 they were told to write more tickets or their overtime would be in jeopardy. <laughs> really? Yeah. So that's I mean that now that. Yeah, but whatever. But but the point is that if you don't write tickets, your petty privileges, something that you like and want, right, you, won't it, get it. you ain't getting it. Right? That's yeah. that's what the, that's what they're telling you. That's that's like a threat. You know? That's. Yeah, they did that to me on um on a weekend. Like I said, like even though it wasn't any overtime, your overtime was on Saturday and Sunday. So the only person that got to work on Saturday and Sunday was the people that was writing a lot of tickets. Right. 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 And right. I haven't got picked for like three or four or five Saturdays <laughs> in a row. I'm like, oh yeah, that's uh, what it's like? Okay. And that's how I right. feel, you know, it, like, it's a champ. Like, it was crazy. Yeah, it's just depending. Like, oh, they give you the car with the with the no. It's at ninety degrees. You get the car with no air conditioner, or they. Yeah. <laughs> well, the foot patrol. That that was. I mean, that was the the worst disgrace. They would stick you. They tell you walk out in Manhattan. It was, you walk out the door, and and, and you literally walk out the door on 130th and whatever it was and walk out the door and go find 10 tickets good good luck <laughs> and then they pass you in the car they never did it to me because i didn't let them do it but but that's what they they did it to a few people you know yeah it's crazy so what do we do yeah, about that's it that's why they ran out of cars that's crazy yeah so what do we do about it what do we what's the message to the to the agents i mean you're gone i'm gone but what what the what's I mean, you could write a hundred letters to the Blasio. The shit's on the record, you know. This, I how many? I don't know. A hundred videos I put up on YouTube. It's 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 in the public record. All the documents, all the conversations, all the recordings, everything is up there. The whole record is up there, but nothing changes. Just, Everybody collectively has to do it. It's not on you know just you or somebody to right. You know to set to set a set the chain of motion like everybody together if every a agent in the city wrote three tickets let's see what they do to everybody like they can't write up right. everybody like it's impossible you know what I mean right you can't fire everybody what about if right. no if, right if you actually did your job which was to go out and write what you see right then right. then we don't even know what the real number is they just set it at 10 or right now it's 10 uh, I don't even know how they get to 10 that's crazy because it, it <laughs> yeah. I got there when I came and it was 15 and went up to 17. I think that was the highest the number went up to. Yeah. And now it was the because I, we, you know, we never had that computerized crap. Right. Computer. You wrote now paper. We had to paper. manually write all the summonses out. You know, the easy Right, 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 right. And that took some time. So I figured being that you had computers, like you would write more. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Yeah. I guess not. Yeah, man. So yeah, no, it's good talking to you, man. I, I mean, I, I, um, I sympathize with the agents. You know, you know, some. I, I put up a video. Someone's commenting that uh, that that I'm a, I betrayed the, <laughs> I betrayed coworkers by. Oh, please. That lady came up to my front door and stuck a fake ticket on it, and and then wrote the one next door with a fake ticket. I'm not where well, I'm supposed. To, that's corruption coming to my door. I, I I just I just think that that's the that's the wrong way to go. You know what I mean? Like you can if 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 ever if all the agents in in the when the opportunity arrived, as you said, they sat back and they 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 wanted to see me win, but they weren't willing to actually come forward and say yes, I did see people. I did that that there is a quota that in every boardroom in this every roll call room in the city they tell you ten 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 ten. Right, all day long. Right, write your tickets, and you got no problem with us. Yeah, right, sure do. that's all they had to do was say that, and and it would have been game over. But they didn't, and so now I lose. The record gets 
gets muddied down in the, in the courts, right? And 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 no one knows really what was said. And then and now now as time goes on, it's they're going to lean even harder on these agents, right? That's the payback. Now now they're going to because there were some leaks, you know, and and uh, they they don't know who the leaks are. They'll never get that information from me because. That's just not, you know, that's not, that's not who I am. I, I, you know, I'll, if someone tells me something, you know, I'll honor it. I'll, I'll, I'll honor right. that, you know, so, but anyway. So anyway, so, so, uh, so, what's that? No, I was saying, if you, you know, if you have a DVD to come, you know, and like do a podcast or whatever, you, right. you know, whatever you So do you would, podcast, you're, you're comfortable, you're, so you don't even have to say your name. You're, we'll just call you, you know. He's walking, Walker. <laughs> Everybody knows who I am. What you say, Walker? Because I heard my name was brought up in training. Listen, don't be like this guy. Like, my name was literally attached to people's training. Right. So you're you're comfortable, Mister Walker, with everything that's being said right here. There's no you, you, yeah. you uh-huh. in, in public. All right, that's cool. That's good. Oh, please. <laughs> I mean, it's look. It's I mean, just think about what I just asked you. Is telling the truth. Uh, you know, are you comfortable with just telling what you saw and what you, what you, what, you know, what's going on there? And that's like a, like a, like a, it's not a trick question. It's just, it's yeah, just. You're comfortable with telling the truth, yeah. Right, right. Oh. Like it is. Like, you know, sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. But when it's not there, it's like they put pressure on you and they right. want to punish you and it's not, it's not right. Right, right. So, 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 Mr. Walker, I, I'll just, I, I got to tell you, if I, if I told you that this was recorded and I used it, would you be offended by that? Like if I if if I told you that this is the record that this is this is this is the record would that would that be okay with you? I mean, I I it's up. Okay. All right, all right, done Bring deal. Then. Down, I wanted do. I wanted to get I wanted to get your honest opinion. I mean, you could, you know, as a pseudonym or but if they know you, uh, uh, like I said, they 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 know my voice, they know my face, and. Um, but that and that was know my name. <laughs> right. But you don't, you don't work there anymore. You don't work there anymore. And if you and and uh, and if you ever if these if these guys ever come come by you and you feel like there's any pressure or you're building if you're a building owner or whatever you are pressure you or come come by you you let me know and we'll we'll I'll I'll come on the scene and we'll we'll do it again we'll we'll take a look and see what's going on you know it's it's ongoing. It's it's ongoing, you know. It's like I'm not I, I I'm done legally, but but again, that corruption came to my door, and I had a I, I you know I, again it had. Uh, Mr. Walker, good talking to you, mate. Good talking to you. I'm gonna I'll I'll put this up, you know. We'll uh we'll we'll we'll, we'll stick it up there, and uh, it's you know it's part of the record. We'll see if we'll see who else you know whoever else is listening uh, if they want to come forward. And put their name on the record. Use my my uh, platform here. It's your platform, right. you know. And and we'll see uh, we'll see if we can move the ball forward. Especially now it's election season. You know, all the politicians running around, right. and uh, exactly. you know they're all they're all they all they all want your money. They all want your vote. You know, but uh, they, they, but when it comes push comes to shove, they don't do anything about it. You know, they don't do about the corrupt anything about the corruption when it's brought to their uh, attention. All right, yeah, Mr. Walker. All right, mate. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna bounce, man. You have a you have a good day, and uh, you know, thanks. Th- thank you so much for reaching out. I really appreciate it. Not a problem. If you need me, call me again. I'll be there. All right, sounds good, man. Peace.